okay so we are going to declutter today <sighs> and we have to i mean this is this is bad okay like it's a lot and you guys haven't even seen my closet so so we are going to declutter also the floor is a mess i have boxes everywhere it's a little better than it's usually why are you coughing why are you coughing oh we have a visitor yeah i have clothes and stuff not the point look who's visiting Woohoo! Oh crap. Okay. So the reason why I'm excited is because I have a taller tripod. So what happened was I was using like a smaller tripod. It was like a stencil like on the ground, but it was much smaller than this. I think it would only go up to like two and a half feet high or something like that with my ring light and my phone and all that good stuff or whatever. But then I'm like, I got a different situation and now I have a taller one and I actually had it this whole time in the closet and didn't even bother pulling it out. That's basically the long and short of it. So I am going to clean the studio and create a pile of trash and then a pile of things that we need to put away. And then we're going to jump on in and declutter. So let's dive on it. You want to dive on it? You want to dive on it? We're gonna dive on it. It is part of the reason why I don't get much done. I mean, the room is messy because it's messy. That's just what it is. The rest of my house is clean though. She likes being carried. Why do you like being carried? Why do you like being carried? Can you smile at people, please? So technically, if I have her up, she's chilling. She's a spoiled brat at this point. And if I put her down, she gets mad, right? Where are you going? Why are you standing? Why are you, you're standing on my boobies? So it takes me like five hours to do one task. Because I, but it's okay. <laughs> I've been trying for 20 minutes to actually start cleaning this room. Can we clean? Because I can't clean with you. You're 15 pounds. You're heavy, mama. And I put you down. Oh, ooh, don't pull my hair. <sighs> she might stay down this time. <laughs> I just picked up my bag. Can someone tell me why I have three pairs of glasses? Like, I only have one set of eyes. What? Like, I had these three in the one bag. What's the point of that? Tell me if you do the same thing even with your lippies because I do that all the time. Okay, hours later, we've made some progress. Um, I'm not done. I'm not done. Um, I did shower. Baby took a nap. Baby ate. Baby pooped. We did all of that. She's in here playing now. But you can see 99% of the floor. I got rid of a lot of um, boxes, trash. And you can see. Look. <gasps> you can see the table now. I gotta organize it. I'm gonna change this all up. Um, mm, I just have a lot going on, but look, okay, see, okay, we're getting somewhere, look at the baby, baby, okay, because I'm honestly kind of stalling here with the whole declutter thing, I'm just gonna dive on it and do that, um, because I want to move some of this furniture around. Whenever I get into the studio and I really start to see it get like coming together and being organized, I can't help it but want to change things around, so let's declutter. Um, baby will be in the background, of course, making a little bit of noise, you already know. And um, so let's take clutter and then I'll deal with whatever it is that I, in my mind I kind of want to do in the studio. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this opportunity because I just... <laughs> um, if I'm decluttering, why is your girl... <laughs> I actually bought these. KKWs and a Maybelline. I, why, why? I am decluttering a, like a lot of my lippies though and... Pretty much all my liquid lipstick are, are going to end up going in the trash because they're old old, and they're like separated. So yeah. And then these are bullet lipsticks. But I wanted to try them. That's why I got them. And they were like at a good price. So I need to stop buying stuff. These are all new things. I need to set them to the side. Oh my hat. It doesn't match this though. That is so... Mm -mm. Oh, Bra Bar by Rima sent over this little um, kit. Which the bag is so cute, right? Like this. It's gonna go inside of my purse because it's really really cute and i can fit so much in here but she sent some of her essentials so be ready because i'm gonna do like some instagram videos and stuff for that and then she included i think one or two of their brand new like items which i haven't tried yet i'm really excited for that so that's why it's up here i have to kind of like set it over to the side and then pixie sent over these masks i am gonna use um one of them on instagram i'm just not sure which one i you okay me Hi, Mimi. She's learned how to grab things and play with on some. Yeah, I just don't know which one I want to use quite yet, but I'm so excited. I think I want to do the vitamin C solely because it's supposed to brighten and tone. Now let's get into the declutter. 
here are my concealers now i moved into this house in march six months ago i decluttered my concealers i didn't film it but i did declutter my concealers and i have all of these so we're, we're gonna declutter these on camera we need to hold me accountable okay so first things first the boy and cakeless concealer by benefit mine is a number six i love her it looks like a pencil isn't it cute like the packaging is really cute in my opinion i'm gonna keep her slowly because i've only had her for about for about the six months and it's really good and this shade is like perfect it's lighter than my complexion it brightens under the eyes so we're gonna keep her the huda beauty concealer i love this concealer like i love her love her love her i got it in granola which is 18 n i love her enough to where she looks gross okay look you see it looks nice the thing about it is do i want to get rid of it or not i've had it for about a year it's good oh shit uh ooh. i said a bad word sorry no i've had her for longer than a year and it expires in 12 months so should i or should i not i don't use this on anybody other than myself we're gonna set this to the side i'll decide later i have this becca light shifter brightening concealer i've had this i mean this expires in i don't know how long uh, it oh it says i think six months i've had this for longer so i am gonna chuck her it's cute but it's not like amazing because it's not really a concealer like it's it's very sheer so it has a little bit of a luminosity you apply it under your eyes it's supposed to like once you said it, it's supposed to like bright and i don't think it does much of anything which is why i kind of still have her without really using her using her and this little applicator i don't know what's up with it because it's a little like random but like the fibers from it come off and end up on my skin which i find weird so then all of a sudden you have hairy under eyes i don't get that so we're definitely chucking it where's my trash where's my trash never mind i'm gonna set this to the side because that's trash here is a ride or die for me. I absolutely love it, but I'm going to dump her because this is good for six months and I've had her for like two years and I've used her. I keep using her, but I'm going to stop. I am going to stop. I'm getting older. I need to take better care of my skin. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I normally get mine in the shade medium and it works for me. Look how nasty this is. It's time to get rid of it. And there's so much product in here left, but it's enough is enough. I will replace her with a brand new one, but for now... I'm not buying anything else because I have so many concealers that I need to kind of go through. But, oh, and, oh, oh my God, that's so nasty. Okay, it's trash. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. It's a, it's a concealer. I don't even know what shade it's in. Oh no, 375 Latte. So I, and it doesn't, the label doesn't really show when it's supposed to expire. I am going to assume, because I can't see if the sticker came out, I'm going to assume a good six months to a year, and I've had this for much longer. I, th I think, just by browsing, I like most of the concealers that I have. It's just too many of them, and they end up expiring. But this concealer, drugstore-wise, is so good. Look at this. I should replace her. It's such a good concealer. I think I'm gonna replace her. So I'm gonna dump this because I've had it for like ever. And look at the packaging, it's already separated. So of course I need to like just replace her in general. Um, but it's a really good concealer. It really covers the under eyes. Like this that I have going on, the puffy look that I have going on like right now, it would totally conceal that. It would also brighten under the uh, drugstore. Uh, amazing. Like if you wanted the short, she paused me at, I was gonna say short if you wanted the tart but you don't want to break the bank with it because it can be a little expensive for a concealer then i would go with this one because even the applicators are like the same like look at these doe foot applicators they're like siblings right they're like the same so just saying then we have the morphe one now the morphe one i got it in c2.25 most people would compare this to the nars one now i haven't had this for too long i think i've had this for about eight months so i might just keep it it is a really good full, like full coverage, full coverage concealer. It blends out really nicely. Why don't I use it more often? I don't know. I really don't know. I think maybe because I have too many concealers. Because it's actually really, really good. And I liked it enough on my skin where I grabbed a darker shade so that I can contour with. And it's so good on the skin. So, yeah, I'm going to keep these because I haven't had them that long. I really, really haven't. And the formula is actually very nice. So, I'm keeping that. I also have the catrice true skin concealer i have two of them why because i'm a psycho so i have two of them i have a concealer shade and then i have a contouring shade my concealer shade is in 33 cool almonds and then my contour shade is 92 warm spices i could not stand the foundation for these it just did not work with my skin 
Ow, girl. That video is up. It made my skin look the worst. I think it, I, it's it's looked in years. But the, con the concealer is so good. So I have these concealers and I think I've only had them for about a month and a half, two months. So we're keeping them. Oh, my God. So far, I'm only checking three. And then we have this Tarte product. Now, I have in two shades because I ended up getting multiples in BoxyCharm. Um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I have it in Sunbeam and a glow. These can be used as highlighters or you can use them under the eyes to highlight under the eyes. Now, now you're like, wait, why would you want to highlight under the eyes? So essentially, you apply this first. It's supposed to brighten under the eyes and then you go in with your concealer and it's supposed to give you amazing coverage. It helps. It looks nice, but it's nothing like innovative, amazing. Oh my God, I'm going to go Gaga for because it's like the best thing in the world. You don't need this. You really don't need this. I put it in my concealer pile because technically if I don't, I'll forget to, that I have it. I think I'm going to forward this to family members though because I've had it and I think I've used it twice. Why are you staring at the camera like that? Why are you staring at the camera like that? I have the Pretty Vulgar Concealer. I have it in the shade 63, the middle ground. And I feel as though, I can't, I really can't remember. I feel as though at first, at first I might have been like, oh, this is nice. But then I had to like over apply. I feel like I had to go in twice with the concealer in order to get really good coverage. The shade is beautiful on me though. But I even forgot I had this. So I'm just going to dump it because I've had it for quite some time. And it says 12 months. Basura. Here is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This one has a fuzzy on it. Hold on. This one is in the shade Eclair number 10. A way too light. Like way, 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 way too light. It didn't work for me. And it is more of a serum. I didn't like the, the consistency, the formula. And I've had this for like ever this six months. I've had this for like three years. We're going to dump her. I don't even know why I kept it the first time I decluttered. We're going to dump her. The formula is more like a gel. Like a, like a gel and a serum. It's thick and it's, I don't like it. I have a mini of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got mine in medium three praline. I'm glad I got a mini. I was like, okay, but what if everyone hypes it up on social media and then you buy it and then you hate it, right? Because I'm picky. But the thing about it is, girl, I forgot I have this. I'm glad I didn't pay for the full size. The L'Oreal from the drugstore is so much better than this. In my opinion, I like the finish so much better. I love the coverage. I love the wand of that one. This one is like... Kind of reminds me of the Morphe one. Honestly, it really does. Do you need to run out and get this? No, I don't think it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to dump it. She keeps grabbing onto this one, so we're going to... So here's the thing. I got the Jeffree Star Concealer in C18. Definitely much lighter than I needed, but it works for me. I like how full coverage it is. A little bit is going to go a very, very, very long way. I've had this for over a year. This, I'm sure, has expired. I mean, I don't see an expiration date on here, but I'm sure it's expired. But I don't care. We're going to keep her. A, the packaging is A+. Plus, and B, I really like the coverage. Now, here is a buy that I'm kind of like, damn. Like, I'm glad I bought it, but I'm also kind of like, why did I get it? So, it is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. I got mine in the shade Honey. It is a beautiful shade for me. I haven't had it for too long either. Clearly, I've used it, as you guys can see in the base of it. Like, I have used it. You click the back, and you apply. It's a good concealer. I, I can't lie to you. It's it's a very good concealer. I just haven't grabbed for it the way I've wanted to. Like, I expected to really grab it several times a week. And I think I grabbed it twice a month, which kind of sucks. Now, this expires in 12 months. I think I've had it for a good eight or nine. So, I think I'm going to try my best to get use out of this one before i dump it the Too faced born this way this um, 12 months in october we make the 12 months of owning this multi-use sculpting concealer mine is in golden beige and i absolutely love this concealer the finish the applicator everything about it is amazing i love using it with a foundation it's it's really good so i'm gonna keep her the makeup revolution super size conceal and define concealer mine is in c10 this one's really good too. This is a very good do for the Tarte Shape Tape if you wanted to snag that one and you haven't been able to. C10 is a really decent shade for me. It's a little on the pink side, but still it works. I usually go very neutral or yellow. I've had this for a long, long ass time. Almost three years. And yes, I keep using her. She's a very thick full coverage concealer she hasn't separated or anything it looks really good blends like a dream it doesn't smell funny or anything like that but i am gonna dump her because it is affordable and it's just easier for me to replace this one 
um rather than maybe get breakouts or something weird happen under my eyes with this product this has been three years so i am gonna dump this one but it's really good and then i have two makeup revolution concealers these are the conceal and defines but these are not the super size like this is the regular size and this is like the enormous the enormous one what is she doing i love c13 for the perimeter of my face so that i can like contour slightly without making it super dramatic so we're keeping her because i've only had this open i've only had it open for maybe like three to four months um i posted a reel using this and that was about three months ago so it's fine and then this one is in c8 now this is a way too light for my under eyes and the only reason why i'm gonna chuck it is because i i have so many of these they said npr um and i know for a fact that i have a shade that's gonna work for me i just haven't gotten around to looking for it because i have a whole bunch of stuff and that's what we're doing what we're doing decluttering cleaning organizing whatever so i am gonna dump this because i've already used it on my face and i don't feel right passing this on to someone when the dope applicator has touched my face directly and then last but not least i have this wonder beauty dualist concealer so here's the thing about this you have the liquid on one side and the stick on the other and i only like one side i like the stick side and i don't like the liquid side the liquid side just did not work for me but the stick side is really nice and brightening but i can also use it all over my lid so i'm gonna keep her solely because i do like the stick side but once the stick side is pretty much over it breaks or something i'm dumping it all right now to finalize this whole declutter we're gonna revisit the huda beauty it looks gross i know but it's such a good formula but do i need her no i don't it pains me to do this because i love this concealer but we're gonna chuck her I just counted, so we're gonna keep 10 concealers, which I know, I know it's still a lot, it's still a lot, but we're gonna keep 10 concealers so that we can rotate them. We have nine that we're dumping, and two concealing highlighters that we're gonna see if someone in the family wants before I decide whether or not to chuck them. On a lot, I do think this declutter has made me feel a little better, and I really wanted to start getting these declutters out. But I do think we did really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and make sure these go in the trash. Put my concealers where they go and I'll be ready to film another declutter video tomorrow. I believe that will be our setting sprays. And that I feel like I only thought that I would have a hard time decluttering my palettes. But I'm having a hard time decluttering every step of the way. Like every category. It's painful. I, it won't hurt me to do the skincare part. But when it comes to like makeup items, I'm having a hard time letting go. I'll tell you that much. Okay, guys, let me know down below in the comment section whether or not you have done any declutters. If you have, when was the last time you did a declutter? Do you need a declutter right now? Do you need a declutter? Is this encouraging you to declutter? Or are you decluttering with me? Because that would be freaking awesome. And that is a wrap for this video. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are going to absolutely love. I also did a foundation declutter. I'll link that up here as well as in or here. I'll link that up here somewhere. And in the description box so you guys can go check that out. And that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.